I got that idea of asking for feedback. I think Melissa had actually posted something about it. And so I took it from her. And then like mm. the very next day, I was like, I have to do this. And so it was very informative. <laughs> and, and, you know, fourth grade is a right. lot different than pre-K. They're going right. to, and I even said, you don't have to put your name on this. And they were like, oh, okay, bet. And so I got a lot of good most of them was very it was very kind and polite and then there was there was one that said i think you talk too much mm -hmm. and i was like mm, oof and so and i it would have been so easy for me to have been like okay rude you know and, but so we from there we ended up going to a self-paced blended learning model and so i'm like i'm not I'm talking as much anymore and so I did a lot of research into that. And that's one thing that Melissa and Jenny have been giving me a lot of good feedback on because that's been my goal this year. And so every time we have this book chat, you know, they're always asking me, how's it going? How's your goal? Is there anything that I can do to help? And so it's been, they've been so helpful in this, you know, kind of risky journey that I've been taking. And they've been giving me so many, so much great feedback and ideas and so it's just been, and it's, you know, you talked about connecting with people outside the district, connecting with people inside of this district, but then also connecting with people inside of your school that you usually wouldn't, like I teach fourth grade and Jenny is a friend, but we don't really ever talk about what's going on in our classroom. And so getting to be able to, to get her feedback as well from someone who is in our school has been super mm -hmm. helpful as well. Yeah, and that's like, that's one of my, that's always, I, I talk about this quite a bit, one of my biggest pet peeves in education is how we like just totally covet people from other schools, from other districts, from around the world. And then we kind of downplay our own staff. And I think that to me has always been something that I've struggled with. And I'm sure, you know, all of us, and I, I think not just all of us in the space right now, but, you know, when I say all of us, I'm talking education, have maybe felt that where we felt like discounted by some of our own staff. We've felt not appreciated because it kind of, you know, we, we often treat, treat strangers better than we treat people that we know really well. Right. And I think that that to me is something that I hope we can really kind of focus on because we already know education kind of gets a negative light in some media circles uh, in a space, but it doesn't really help when we don't, when we see people every day and we don't celebrate them or, you know, talk about their accomplishments.